Hey everybody, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back. Okay, well guys, I received a question from Aaron and his question was, can you model a cone-shaped helix? Okay, and that is actually a very simple thing to do. So that's what we're going to do, right? First, we're going to create our helix. So we're going to go to our polygon menu. We're going to go to create polygon primitives helix. Just select that left click and drag on your grid and then pull up okay so this is kind of the uh you know the standard for my setup anyway all right so we're going to right click and we're going to go to object mode there we go and then if you hit Control a you'll pull up your attribute editor and if you then select polyhelix one if you only have one helix, it should be poly helix one. And you can tweak a couple of things. You can adjust the number of coils by changing this value. You can change the total height, the width, but that will kind of distort it. We don't really want that. Okay, so I'll just hit Control Z there. You can change the radius, so you can make it very thin or fat if you like. Okay. And then you have your regular subdivisions that you can set up to make it uh, more or less uh, high poly in your subdivision. Let's do, uh, let's see, 30 by 30. Let's do 30 by 60, that's a bit better, okay. And then you have subdivision on caps, but that's not really a thing that we need to do right now, okay. So, all right, so if this is your standard helix, now let's make this thing cone shaped, okay. So we're going to go to our animation tab, create deformers, nonlinear, and we're going to go to flare. And this will add two controls, as you can see, on the top and on the bottom, right? Now, where do you find these controls? Again, because our controls are selected in our attribute editor, we have the, uh, the flare one tab, and this is our handle tab. We're going to go to flare one, and there are a couple of things that you can do here. For example, you can tweak the high bound and low bound, but that's not really giving us the result that we're looking for. So we're gonna hit Control Z and Control Z. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna change the values for flare X and flare Z, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change these values to three and three, okay? So there you go. There is your cone-shaped helix. Obviously you can make that you know a higher value or a less uh, high value 1.5 1.5 and again there you go there is your cone shape helix now one other cool thing here is you can tweak the curve right here and by pulling that in or pushing that out you can kind of adjust that shape as well just uh, good to know so that's pretty much it. That is how you create a cone-shaped helix. If you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.